generative AI has become one of the most exciting innovations in recent years, powering everything from creating images to text generations. Today, we're going to dive deep into why this technology is so revolutionary, its current applications, and how it applies to academic integrity. What is generative AI or Gen AI? Generative AI or Gen AI is a type of artificial intelligence that uses generative models to create new content such as images, music, text, or other types of media. The main idea is to generate new content that would be indistinguishable from what a human might produce. Gen AI can potentially automate such tasks to save time and resources and lift the burden of doing such tasks manually. For example, in healthcare, synthetic medical images like X-rays or MRIs can enhance the predictive capability of diagnostic models. In digital agriculture, synthetic crop images can enhance the machine learning model's ability to detect and predict stress in plants. Can you explain how Gen AI systems learn and make decisions? Generative AI systems learn by analyzing large datasets, mostly using artificial neural networks, which are biologically inspired by neural network inside the human's brain. Such networks contain a large number of units that are called neurons. Each of these neurons applies a mathematical function to the input and passes it down to the other neurons. These neurons collectively learn different patterns within the data. Where can Gen AI systems be found? Generative AI is becoming increasingly common in our everyday lives, powering a variety of applications. Grammarly has been helping people improve their writing by checking grammar, wording, and suggesting corrections. Conversational AI models like ChatGPT have expanded the possibilities, such as drafting emails, writing stories, and even generating code. In creative fields, tools like DALL-E and Stable Diffusion can create images from simple text descriptions, while companies like Aiva use Gen AI to compose music. However, the increasing use of Gen AI in scientific paper generation has raised concerns about the authenticity and the impact of AI-generated content. How does it choose what to present? Gen AI models work by recognizing patterns that they were trained on. It predicts the next piece of information, which can be the next word or character in a sentence, mm -hmm. or the next few pixels in an image, based on what it has learned before. Specifically, each of these models consider different possibilities and then picks one while favoring the more probable ones. The way the model is trained, the type of data it has learned from, and the model's architecture will determine the style and quality of what it generates. How are students using Gen AI? Some educators worry that many students use Gen AI to gain an unfair advantage in their academic careers. But students recognize its flaws and potential errors and may not use it for cheating purposes. But students might find Gen AI helpful for making course content accessible, or for brainstorming, translating texts and tutoring, or for non-academic tasks like drafting emails or texts or planning activities. What are some academic integrity concerns when using Gen AI? Gen AI could enhance teaching and learning and therefore academic integrity, but it's crucial for students to critically assess its outputs if it is to be used in assignments. Students should also disclose their use of Gen AI in academic work. So students can follow documentation guidelines like APA, which usually use an acknowledgement section for this purpose. There is ongoing debate about proper disclosure in academic publishing, so students should consult their instructors for clarity. Where does one learn to declare that they use Gen AI in their work? Educators should foster a learning environment where students use Gen AI responsibly, but they can be unfamiliar with how to design assessments that foster this skill, leading them to ban Gen AI out of fear of misuse. Educators at the University of Manitoba can seek support at the Centre for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning, for example, and talk with students openly about the impact of Gen AI on academic integrity. We hope this video has been enlightening about generative artificial intelligence and informed you about its uses and where it can be found. If you have any questions on what is permitted and what is not, always reach out to your course instructor for clarity. Thank you. Thank you.